Hey, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Uh, yeah, kind of a speed bump today, and that's all it is. Just slowed us down for a real quick minute. I got a uh, massive screw in the rear driver's side tire. Um, yeah, we'll have to get that thing fixed later on, but the good thing is we have my son's truck, and uh, yeah, we'll get out there on the water here right after. here no reds uh, I thought what I believed would be reds but it got too shallow for the skiff to get back there with the trolling motor and we're not even gonna make an attempt to push pull ourselves out of here um, or actually push pull ourselves towards them because it's very hard to control and then with mosquitoes in the mix they just throw a big wrench in our plan but that is close to our like 45 minute one hour update hang tight everyone I promise y'all we will we will see something else, but it is more headache so far than it has been there we go awesome got something on boys let's go i was getting bored over here not gonna lie battle for paddle tail was looking more like a skirmish but we've got our first contestant right there shimmer swimmer she did it great job the only thing getting bites out here was mosquitoes so far and this guy just cheered me up quite a bit look at them there's literally a dang mosquito in my picture trying to bite my hand f off guy i feel bad he looks like he's trying to breathe yes guys awesome not not freaking playing single player over here hey i think there was a trout blow up over there it wasn't a mullet jumping out of the water it, i didn't see yellow like a mouth of a trout but over just dead ahead in the middle Oh, it was a nice flounder, man. I was trying to muscle him in. Gosh! It is set. Not good, though. Oh, my gosh! I, he got me with... Let me see the... I got it right here the board i think he might be a keeper dang it these mosquitoes what i was going to tell y'all is that it would be nice for like all the politicians in the world instead of fighting each other why don't y'all combat mosquitoes like seriously put your heads together to figure a way out to kill these things let's rid ourselves of mosquitoes instead of each other that's a 15 inch speckled trout but we're not keeping it because he's 15 on the nose and for those of y'all that watch my channel religiously, thank you, first and foremost. But for everybody else, um, these are game warden money makers, so we don't keep those size trout, these size trout right there. That's a 15 incher though. He looks skimpy, but you know what? I better take a photo of this turd. All right, buddy, thank you so much. I need to, yeah, but I need to set the drag way tighter because <laughs> I set the hook straight through the drag like hardcore. Sweet boys, we've got ourselves definitely not a keeper, but the second fish on the swimming jack. Oh no, he's a bleeder. All right, you guys, and there goes our speckled trout. Ooh. Is that 
I mean, he went away. He swam away. I watched him swim away. Something wrong with that. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. Sometimes I feel weird when I release a fish and he doesn't swim away nice and strong. But that guy definitely wasn't gill hooked. Uh, and I didn't ruin his slime. Or attempted not to. I gave it my best effort. Uh, let me know what y'all think about that. wonder, is it coming towards us? Dang it. Got him. That's why we couldn't hook him. I mean, look how tiny he is. They're feeding off of the small little minnows, and they really love that paddle tail action. <laughs> He's got a mouthful of shimmer swimmer right there. Let's get a photo of the little Dinkosaurus, and uh, we're going to put him right back inside the water. His heart's beating a mile a minute. <laughs> I guess mine would too. We got him on the the gills. We gotta hurry up and get him back in before he starts bleeding like a stuck pig. Here we go. See you later, buddy. Get a band aid or something. I'm doing a slow retrieve with a very subtle twitch. I'm talking like not even that much action. I'm just doing this and barely. Just kind of like what you're doing. It's got a little bit of weight. Maybe right? Oh, hey, boys, we get some tacos today. And that's definitely a bigger keeper. Oh, thank goodness uh, he's a keeper because he's bleeding. Um, look at that. Oh my God, he got that back there in his throat with the quickness. I mean, I set the hook immediately. Let's get a. Uh, an official measurement before this dude gets dispatched right there 15 and, a half. 15 and a half with an open mouth but both ends of his mouth on the board so definitely a keeper what we're gonna do is dispatch this guy and uh, yeah let's uh, get the stringer out and this is mortal combat for the shimmer swimmer Anyhow, uh, that's the end result. Dispatched speckled trout right there. A very wounded shimmer swimmer. Nonetheless, we got our lure back. Um, these guys are they're worth their weight in gold, so I'll try to save them at all costs. There we go. That's a little bitty fella. Healthy though. Very healthy. Probably 13, 14 inches, somewhere around there. And these guys are gorging on the bait that is out here right now. I mean, this he tried to get it down his throat too. My gosh. Right there. Healthy fella. Son, um, I'm going to show you the twitch they don't want nothing they don't want a hard twitch they don't want a long pull of the rod tip yeah i'm doing like this right here look this is all i'm doing just barely yeah that's what i'm doing I'm, i just don't know i, I don't know Maybe look look how look how i'm retrieving it What's up? Oh, wow. okay. I'm, i mean i'm doing it super slow I'm starting to think maybe I need to take out the shimmer strip. I, I mean, that's the only thing because I'm I'm literally trying my best to mimic a retrieve unless I'm just doing a, a, a job at it. 
I'm trying to mimic the same retrieve. I'm trying to, I mean, we've got the same lure. The literal only difference is, is the shimmer strip that's taken out. We'll keep doing this. You catch like two or three more fish. I'm going to remove the shimmer strip just for science. Let's see how long this guy is and we'll uh, possibly consider keeping him. <laughs> he just said, he goes, I identify as a redfish. <laughs> Mr. Speckle Trout trying to identify as a redfish. Just in case uh, y'all don't know the Texas limits, reds have to be 20 inches to keep. Specs only 15. This dude must know something. You're lucky. All right, you guys, so I don't know what's going on. Same retrieve, I'm really doing my best here. And the only difference between what my dad is using and what I'm using is the shimmer strip inside of it. So I'm gonna take this out and if I start getting bites, then we know. If I'm not getting bites, then I think I'm just off my rocker today. So I'm gonna pull this bad boy out There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to it's getting serious boys. It's getting serious now. I gotta give me a fish. I might just fish the other side. I'm sure there's fish over there too. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fish this side so I can get optimal hook set strength. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. It's either a red or a really nice trout. If this is a trout, I'm gonna freak. This is gonna be a keeper for sure. It looks like a red. Oh yeah, that's a big old red. Look at this thing. Oh, this is a keeper. I know. I'm not. Yes, guys, keeper. Oh God. I talk too much, he says. Jeez, come here, bro. No, <laughs> these guys, man. Come on. Keep the net. You just need the high stick. You won't break the rod. I'm not worried about breaking the rod. I'm worried about breaking my knot or breaking off. There, there you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. High stick it. There you go. Yes, there you go. guys. Good job. Look at that. Ooh, man, what a catch. I know. I'm stoked. I went back to my retrieve guys. I've been sitting here thinking, what is my dad doing different? I just decided screw it. I'm going back to what I'm good at. And I'm going to fish the other side because I was having trouble hook setting with him over there. And look what we got a behemoth. This is the first keeper red in a while, huh? Yeah. Since Eckert. Yeah. It's about a 20, 24, 25 inch. He is sitting just at, where's five? No, six. So yeah, he's a four and a four and three quarter pounds almost five pounds right here wow what a catch man oh i'm so happy I know. and look at here baby 24 inches at the fork of his tail there we go sounds like i just got hit <laughs> the little motorboat comes right back to follow it up finish the deed <laughs> this is a keeper right here, son. Really? Yeah. Let's keep them. No. We already got a speckled trout and a red that's more than big enough to uh, to feed us all. There we go. That is three keeper specs right there. Let's uh, get the measurement really fast, wet the board, and then we'll send this guy on his way. Yep, 15 right there. 15 and a quarter. Not a bad speckle trout right there. See you later, homie. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you take care of a skunk picking the right place to be at the right time. 
a lot of it has to do with luck and what can I say we do get lucky every now and again and it does feel super good to get the skunk out of the boat that mid slot donkey that my son caught uh, that was just magnificent we're gonna make sure that we do something right by him I want to like give the good Lord above you know many thanks thank you all for sticking out with us during the uh, tough times those skunks I really don't like posting them but I mean that's just a fact of fishing so thank you all so much if you made it this far into the video just know that I really love each and every one of y'all thank you so much if you enjoyed this one don't forget to click that thumbs up button for those of y'all interested in the gear that we use that will be linked down in the video description below so check them out if you click one of those links and make a purchase then just know that you're helping to support the channel we reinvest every bit of it back into the channel to help make it grow and uh, that allows us to do bigger and better things so definitely do appreciate that love and support until next time tight lines y'all